Okay, so I'm on my lunch break and I'm about to hide my second cache and I'm gonna go look for one that's actually close by. I should have filmed me dropping my first one, but it's on the way home, so what I'll do is I'll add it at the end of this video. Okay, so this is the cache I made. It twists open here. It's only got enough room for a sign log, so what I'm thinking is I'm gonna leave it somewhere in this wooded area here so it kind of blends in. So what I'm thinking is I spotted this. So what I'm thinking is if we just hook That on there kind of blends in, you've got your little leaf. I think that's good there. Okay, so I'm walking along the side of the road. The first clue I've been given is there's a visible gap that you can walk down, which will take you to a secluded area where there is no muggles. And then once you find there, we need to find a trample down where it says there's been dead roses, but don't go too far in the bush because rose bushes hurt. Uh, I think I've found it. Yeah, this is definitely it, isn't it? So, my only issue is I've not got... Well, I haven't got another camera with me, so I can't check for Ground Zero with the app. So what I'm going to have to do is keep jumping from filming to this, filming to this. But don't worry, guys, in the next video, I'll have a camera so we won't be jumping back and forth. Okay, so I'm at Ground Zero. I've been stood here for a while. There's a guy cutting the grass just over there. And I didn't realise what I was looking at, but I've just spotted it. I believe this is it. Yes. All right, this is it. Let's open this baby up. Okay, so because I've only got this camera and no stand, I couldn't film me opening it, but this is a long list of names. I've signed it and dated it. We'll roll that back up. And then what we've got to do is just pop it back in this tube, pop the cat back in and put it back where we found it. All right, back you go, little buddy. So it's actually the next day. I totally forgot to continue with this video and show you that last cache. So I'm on my lunch break. Again, it's 31 degrees. As you can see from this picture I'm about to show. So I thought, you know what? Let's go catch another cache. Okay, so I'm at ground zero and it is literally this lamppost. Okay, so the first thing I checked was these railings. Because the catch is called up and under, I assumed it might be up that ledge and under one of them railings. It wasn't there. So the next thing I checked was in this roof. Ooh, it's nearly fell down. All the way along here. And once again, it wasn't in there. So I was a bit stumped at this point. I walked a bit along down here and noticed this metal opening and once again it wasn't in there and then I spotted this now this is where it was hidden I'm gonna play the footage of how I found this now you know what maybe it's on here under here ah. nice now this is the cache I've tried open it's quite hard it looks like someone's tightened up too much so what I'm gonna do is I'll open it and we'll get the paper out so here's a shout out to all the people that found it before me and because it's so small I struggled to put the date and my name on it so that's the best I could do. Okay, so back under you go. So I'm out doing another cache, this time I've got my son with me, say hello. Hello. And now the hint was alphabet and numbers and it dropped us here. So I spotted this. So that's an alphabet and a number and if you come down here and look down there's this and this is the cache so we've now signed the log it's time to put it back in so that was our first cache doing it together how did you find it um nice it was all right, wasn't it? Yes. And it was actually a pretty cool box. So here's to that one, and let's do many more. Bye. <laughs> this is the only way I can get the camera angle in. All right, so I'm out with Toby again, doing another cache. Hello. And we're near ground zero, and the who, the, the who, the clue is check the log. So once we get there, Toby, 
I'm gonna have you check a lot of logs, so yeah. let's get there now. Okay, so it's sending us in here, and I think I can see a log just over there. Have you found an entrance? Alright, come on in. Okay, so this log's at ground zero. Oh, dude! Dude, dude! I found it! Yeah, I got it. So I'm kind of glad we come over here and instead of going to check that big one that I thought it might have been over there. Alright, Tobe, do you want to open it up? Yeah! Alright, so it's a bit wet. Okay, we've signed it all there. There's a list of names before it. I can't go through all of them because of how wet it is. But it goes back to as old as 2016. So we put back where it was and it was just there. And then flip the log back over. Flip it over. Like that. Oh. Another successful find. So before we leave, I said I'm glad we stopped there instead of going down here because I thought it might have been this log down here. But it looks like someone's been living there. Look at all the rubbish and stuff and the alcohol cans. So, all right, Toby, we're going to leave now, mate. Someone's even, they've even got their umbrella there. All right, on to the next cache. <laughs> okay, so I'd like to add one last thing, Tobe. You know how he walked all the way through the woods to get there? Yeah. We could have literally just took this step here. Gone through this less bad way. And the cache is literally just there. We're going to say 